American Air Museum. Here are the Imperial War Museums in Duxford, about an hour outside of Cambridge. Just outside of Cambridge, about an hour outside of London. Right, miserable day, let's get inside, shall we? Let's have a look and see what we've got. Yeah, it's an impressive building. Some impressive planes in here. A B-52's wingspan takes up the whole building. Gives you an idea of the size of the hangar here. What have we got here? Lockheed U-2C. Just casually hanging off the ceiling up there, look. Uh, iconic looking plane here, stealth. But, well, that's not that. That's the Douglas Sky Train Dakota. That's up there at the back there, you see it? But just here, look at this sleek looking machine. It's up close and personal to them. I haven't ever seen pictures of them to be honest. It's not every day you walk past a stealth bomber, I suppose. The Blackbird is what it's called. Look at that. Engine components down there, look. A bit of information there, pause it if you'd like to read. Yeah, what we got over here? Yeah, so I'll just let you read, hang on. Yeah, this is uh, actually some steel from the 7 Eleven attacks. It's very poignant. It's, it's a bit upsetting to see, to be honest. Oh, it, it caught me to a surprise, I didn't know it was here. Come to look at some airplanes. Reminder. <laughs> the events of September 11, 2001 had a huge effect on the lives of Americans. One of the first signs of the unique impact was the closure of US airspace. So, what are we at 10 o'clock in the morning? 
13th of July. So your normal sort of day. The high concentrations of yellow are major airport hubs. Hmm. It's mad, five to six thousand flights in the air. Five, eight, that's crazy. Recognise that face. What have we got here? The upgradation to move Iraqi forces from Kuwait was known as Desert Storm. Are those Adam's forces removed from Kuwait? Up of Glatt, Gandalifa. Is they a bust? That took me to a surprise. What do we have here? Rich Grahams. Blackbird's air suit. It's an impressive museum. There's lots here to look at, lots of history. Sky train. Uh, successful and widely used military transport aircraft for World War II. It's a big old plane, it's hard to get them all in the phone camera. Very large wing of a B-52 bomber above me. Size of that. Nearly a big, but wow. I'm not sure what plane this is, let's find out. It's the Queen module. I'm not sure what that is, top of my head. They're all impressive. 
Am I is my engineer and the other end of the B-52's wing just fitting in there well, look at how close these planes are together look at that and we've still got room for a medical jeep underneath so Duggan comfortable position. <laughs> Very least. Put it mildly. <laughs> well, I think there's a couple of little exhibitions on the side. We're going to have a look across there, shall we? Oh, I marvel at the size of this E-52 bomber. There's so many more above us as well, it's hard to see everything. So yeah, heading back up the other side, I'll try and get some more of the planes that hang up from the ceiling. A Mustang. That's a Thunderbolt. 
an impressive collection. The North American Mitchell over there. Yeah, we got an old one. North American Texan Harvard and a Boeing Cadet. Where's the Cadet then? There's the Harvard. I mean, F 15 A Eel. Service in 1976. Extremely modern for 1976, isn't it? I think, anyway. The front of the 747, look. It's bomb counter on the side. And that flew a lot. Yeah, amazing, all these planes, saw service. It's fascinating just to come and look at them. Not every day you can walk up to, you know, have a little look in the cockpit here of a massive American bomber. Yeah, it's also big, got a little calf. I had something to eat before I came, so I'm okay. Two or three toilets started around. What have we got over here? Little section here, we'll have a quick look. So I don't know what's in this bit, we've got some, uh, we've got some videos, some stories from telling some tales and more and more. These flags were carried back from the pilot. It's sad, isn't it? <laughs> These men, one British, one American, flew together in the First World War. George Vaughan and William Douglas. Very different gear. There's a Liberty V12 Aero engine. Yeah, I think I've shown you everything to see in the American Air Museum here. If you're into your Americana planes, if you're into planes, definitely recommend a visit. Right, I'm going to head outside. Thank you for joining me. And I'll catch you in the next vlog. See you later. Fab bungalows. Look at them, still in the same condition. Let's have a little walk around and look for the window, shall we? There's a bedroom there. Just looks like a, uh, like a school container, doesn't it? Maybe you're back in school in the 90s. One of these in the back of the field. Jeez, there's your bed. A two bedroom, it's all right, isn't it? You got kitchen, separate kitchen. And I'm guessing that's the bathroom here with the frosted windows. And your little entry hallway here. Gee, half a million pound over in London nowadays. <laughs> so like that for a gun. Wow. So we just popped into the Battle of Britain hangar here. Damn measures mate here. Thank you.
Heavy this. I never did anyone like that before. A cult of war aircraft, what have we got in here? There's some good things in this hangar, it's not put together the same as the others. Not put it down, was this a tornado? A bit of me, I don't claim to be a plane expert. I think it's a tornado though, GR8 is it? GR4. Close though. Like I say, pause it if you want to have a little read. Then I'll move on. The Westland Lynx. Yeah. I recognise this, I can't think what it's called. That's a de Havilland as well, I'll just say. Training version. Is this a lightning? No. Yeah. It's a Soviet jet. <laughs> Sorry, designed to be faster than the lightning. MiG twenty one. I don't think I've ever seen a MiG. Watching 90s American movies growing up, I heard the name MiG many times, but I've never actually seen one. Refuelers. Wow, look at that over here. That's got some age to it. I would not want to be up in the sky in that. Royal Aircraft Factory BE2C. Not for me. Very patriotic looking plane. Why has this got this library? What's the deal with it? It's a Gloucester Javelin. Several test programs, including the Concorde Supersonic Airlander. This is why it's painted. There we go. Mobile workshop. <laughs> yeah, and back into here, that doodle bug. I see. Launch along the rails. Not bigger than I thought. Yeah, we've got the iconic Spitfire. Yeah, and that's that's the Battle of Britain here.